Hello everyone and welcome back to the NPC Dungeon. Today I'm talking all about some of the things I do to keep a DD and d session going. It won't be super long, but I know that there are times when the action in the session might die down, your plans might fall apart, or your players may just get a little bored. Hey, it happens. And if you're anything like me when I first started, you may have a problem with this as well. So I thought I'd make this video about it anyway. So what did I start doing about it? Let's get started and let's learn something. First, let's say you present your players with a scenario and say, okay, what are you going to do? But are only met by silence. One problem could be that they don't actually have anything to do. You could have the coolest setting in the world, like an ancient dragon burial ground on top of a mountain with a thunderstorm going on for dramatic effect in the background or something. But what are your players going to do with it? If your players really have no reason for being there and are really only here because the plot demanded it or because you kind of corralled them here, it shouldn't be surprised when they have nothing to do. Give them a reason. Maybe they believe someone recently resurrected a dragon from the site. Maybe one of the graves is dug up and the players have to investigate. Maybe during their investigation, someone sees tracks that suggest they're being followed, there could be a secret laboratory nearby, and the list goes on. I recommend giving your players multiple things to do that will keep their interest, which brings me to my next major point, which is give them options. Whether your players are solving a puzzle, fighting a boss, exploring, or whatever, don't just give them one thing to do. They may never find it. Give your players room for creativity and inventiveness, and giving your players choices is a good way to help them feel like they're in charge, instead of feeling like they're just kind of being led around by the nose. If they begin to feel that way, it should be no surprise when they begin to feel bored, and the session begins to drag. And in the same vein, if your players do go somewhere that you don't expect or do something that you don't expect, you should still find a way to have them experience something exciting and plot related. For example, let's say you plan for your players to go to a dungeon, but they decide to go back into town and stock up on resources instead. Maybe they hear about a rival party in town trying to seek the same treasure they want out of the dungeon, or they glimpse the wizard boss who they will fight at the end of the dungeon overseeing a wagon coming in with resources for their evil plans or something. Both those examples not only give your players something to do, but they even provide future directions for them as well. And instead of going into town for supplies, they decide to have their characters hang out and just talk for a while, let them. Let them roleplay. Action in D&D doesn't necessarily have to mean combat. It could be meaningful or just funny interactions between the PCs. They're having fun and the game is still going. Plus, this gives them more chances to learn more about each other's characters, strengthen their bonds with each other, develop their own characters, and maybe even come up with ideas for the future. So don't stand in your player's way when this happens. And lastly, on the opposite side of things, if you give your players opportunities to roleplay and have down time and that's just not what they want to do at the time, move on to the next point. As DMs, it's important for us to know when to back out and when to let the players do their thing and when to step in and to do something that will keep the action going. And that's it for today. I know it was kind of short, but I still hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you really liked it, and feel free to leave a comment. I almost always respond. I release new videos on Fridays, a new pixel art piece every other day, and roughly three to seven short videos a week. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Come back next week for some tips on how you can keep the action going in a D&D session as a player, and until next time, let's learn something.